I'm going to get straight to it. This video pretty much is going to be a continuation about let the hate motivate. But this is about let the hate motivate and inspire to create. I want to be clear about this channel. It's always been for anybody, regardless of any background, racially, whatever. I don't pass judgment on anybody. But I will say this, these videos are mainly for the people that's going through these things. The people that may have questions on why they're being attacked and held back in certain ways, you know, because more than likely you have a strong calling on your life. And like I said, some people will call it selected, chosen, etc. I personally don't like to use the word chosen too loosely because I'm doing my own due diligence. But I must tell you this. You have to try your best not to be distraction, distracted, excuse me, in a world full of distractions. See, once you, you know, practice on learning how to take that negative energy and turn it into positive and harness it and use it as fuel, you know, motivate you. Because when you stand out and when you are considered different, you know, you're going to be hated. It's just what it is. Everybody is not meant to follow the sheeple, you know. A lot of us high vibrational beings, some of us, we have senses similar to animals, which meaning can sense when things are not, you know, the greatest or the mood change, you know, or when something as bad is about to happen. Or maybe when something good is about to happen. Not everybody has that kind of discernment. But you're using these monitoring spirits and all these different entities that may be disagreeable to you. So you must understand that there's going to gonna always be a lot of distractions. I get distracted, I get angry, I get upset. And it always takes for that little voice to say, you are here for a reason. And you are where you are meant to be at the moment. Continue going and don't look back, look forward. You know, they're jealous of you, you know, and you don't have to have all these material possessions. You know, you have a, a bright light that shines, that illuminates even the darkest of the night, you know? So you can go through all kind of, you know, situations that, be, that may be frustrating, you know, energy draining, etc. You know, go with your first mind, go with your inner God. You know, that'll guide you in the right direction. Follow your first mind. You know, if you know you are talented in something and you have a passion for anything that you do in life, that may be one of your gifts of many. You know, like me right now, I don't like to speak about too much as of now on the channel, but I like to get my mind focused off of a lot of things that's going on in the world. See, I could easily have a channel, other channels talking about all the celebrities, rappers, this and that, the main events. I, I get all this information before a lot of people do. But I do what I felt like my passion was in it to express what I was going through at the moment and hoping to reach out to others and inspire them. That doesn't mean I, I might not, I won't make other type of content, but these were the things that I was experiencing. This what 
source. You know, the spirit led me to triple ones. You know? So at the end of the day, again, it ain't, it's no gender, male, female. You know, I got more, I may have more videos coming that may be about on relationships and different things. You know? But as of right now, my mind is focused on raising up those real ones that's depressed and feel like they're alone when they never was alone. Like I said, you have seen assistant and unseen assistants. You are a strong individual, but don't ever think that you're just going through this whole thing alone. Let the hate motivate and inspire you to create. If you're an artist, if you, you're painting pictures or you're writing stories or you're making content, you know, be the best worker if you, you got a nine to five. You know, I know you are, but you overstand that you are beyond a worker and you are seeing past just being that. Because right now, you got a bunch of people that are jealous of you just because, well, not just because, but because you are resilient. You're brilliant, you know? And you don't mind standing alone, even though it appears that you are alone when you are not. And you never were alone. And to be honest, yes, I may get lonely feelings a lot, but I always know that I'm not alone. It's animals around, it's clouds around, it's the sun in the sky, it's air, it's animals, it's insects, it's bugs all around. And I believe in spirits and spirit animals and things like that. Just as well as you got spy devices, you know, you have celestial, you know, entities all around. Let the hate motivate and inspire to create. You know? It's easy to give up. But why do that? Why give up when you feel like things are getting too tough? So they can sit back and laugh and say, Oh, we knew we could, make, we could break him. We knew we could break her. Not knowing... A super boomerang effect is coming their way as we speak. They're not going to dodge this type of karma. This is the type of karma you're going to get for messing with those real ones with pure intentions. I know the majority of me is positive, but even I fall victim to being negative and getting angry at the circumstances, at the snares that they put down for to trap you, you know? And as me knowing better, you would think I would do better. I end up falling in these traps myself. But even I have to take some steps back and analyze the situation. As much as I get angry and mad and want to lash out and crash out, I got too much to lose. I feel like I have people depending on me in certain ways. And I know for me to give up or be scared or fear an individual that I can see in the physical flesh and knowing that life is a test you got to be kidding me you know the only way that these people could even even begin to to bother you and you know make you feel uncomfortable it has to be legions to come against one as strong as you. And yes, I am talking to you. You know, when you let that hate motivate and inspire you to create, you will see how change is beginning to happen around you. Once you start realizing like the biggest enemy is you, so these other people really don't matter. It's just when you let them get to you and when you let 
all of the technology and the games and the BS and the ganging up get to you and you make that wrong decision, then the enemy is open for attack. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end this video, but um, like, comment, and subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications. And if you want to help a growing channel, man, the link is in description. Look at me, I could have been gave up, you know, doing making videos and stuff at this point ain't really ain't really doing much for me. But yes, it is because it's kind of like self. It's kind of like therapy for me, too. And I appreciate all the positive messages when I do receive one. Because I definitely don't pay attention to none of the negative ones. And shout out to the very few people, you know, because I'm still fairly new at this and I don't have no editors or none of this stuff. I'm doing this all off of freestyle. So imagine if I had a, a decent team with me. But it's all good because I believe in me. I just need some of the real ones to believe in me. But most importantly, believe in yourself and who you are and the abilities and what you could do. <coughs> Like that mustard seed, it's so small, but it grow to be so big. I'm out, 13.